Welcome, in front of me is the Oppo Reno 3 Pro and today I will show you how to enable and also set up the do not disturb mode. So to get started let's pull down the notification panel and for me the do not disturb mode is on the second page so right here. Now your position of this toggle might vary uh, so look for it either on one of those pages and from there once you see it I'm gonna hold it and this will take you to the settings where you can set up a couple of things. So we're gonna start well, start off with the exceptions, which will allow you to set additional rules for when the mode is enabled, who can still, in a way, disturb you. So allow notification types, so you have different notifications that can still ring up uh, once you enable them uh, or be shown. So as you can see right now, with this being all as it is, uh, almost no notifications will be visible, uh, not in the st status bar, uh, banner or at, uh, screen top, so lock screen also gone, uh, screen light effect also gone, notification badges also gone. So you wouldn't know that you have any kind of notification basically till you, uh, till, till you or the uh, mode itself turns off. Um, so you can change it however you like in there. Now also we have allow messages from, so you have from anyone, which defeats the purpose of this mode, uh, from contacts, from stared contacts, which is uh, your favorite ones, and then deny all, just blocks everybody. And then calls have the same options, so you can set it up to however you like as well. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you set, uh, for instance, deny all, um, so in a way no one should be able to call you during the not disturb mode, you have this option here. Uh, ring for repeating color uh, calls. If you enable that, if someone calls you within a three minute period twice, um, they will actually be able to call you no matter what the settings uh, here are allowing them to really do. So this is a good toggle to have on for emergency situations because usually those people will call you fairly frequently, frequently um, probably more than twice within a three minute period, just so you make sure that you will pick up. So this is an option that will actually allow them to reach you so you actually know that they're trying to get your attention there. And once you have all these set up here, you can go back up to schedule. So right here we have a pre-made schedule for sleeping that starts at 10 p.m. and finishes at seven in the morning uh, every single day, so seven days a week. But you can, for instance, edit that one or add a new one as I just did, name it whatever you want. And then you have start time. Uh, so as an example, I'm gonna make a work one. So nine to five. There we go, nine to five. Um, up, I'm done. And as you can see, I have also one more thing, uh, the days. So if it's a work one, let's see both Saturday and Sunday, tap on okay, now done. And it will be turning on automatically every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, from 9 to 5. So you won't actually have to do really anything. And apart from it now, the way it's set, turning on automatically every single day of, uh, well, throughout the weekdays, um, you can turn it on manually just by tapping it right here, turn on, and that's basically how you turn it on manually apart from the one that is set for automatic ones and if you want to disable it you would just go back here and toggle it off so that is how you would set up and also just simply enable the do not disturb mode and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching